as a small town going downtown Oklahoma City, you know, whether it was Johnny Brown's or Cats or any of the number of other restaurants or department stores, you always saw the colored sign and you saw the white sign at the water fountain. Mm -hmm. Or you saw the colored sign or you saw the white sign for the restroom. Or you went into the bus station or even the train station because my, like I said, my grandfather worked on the train and we'd go to the train station and you see the sign on the train that said white and then colored, but you had to sit behind the line. I think I realized that segregation had an impact on all of the black community when my father, who had been in the service, um, my stepfather, who had been in the service and who helped raise me the majority of my life, um, couldn't get a job at Tinker um, for a long time. And then when he did, it was as a cook. Um, and he had other qualifications. One of the biggest <laughs> Things that have an impact on you when you're a kid is things like going and having fun at places. And Spring Lake Park was not open to um, blacks except on a certain day, and that was uh, the day that the maids and uh, got off. Just not being able to attend things and 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 enjoy um, and and going to the movies. Uh, the only movies that we went to that we could sit anywhere was the movies on the east side. Uh, other than that, we couldn't, we were limited. And that's when I realized that the segregation was in everything. So you start to ask the question, well, why am I having to sit behind this sign that said colored when they're sitting behind this sign that says white? Why aren't we sitting together? Or you go to the bus station and it's dirty and it's not air conditioned, uh, or it's, you know, there's an inequity. Even a kid can understand why is it they're doing one thing and I'm doing something else. My, my father was a very stoic man, and uh, he said, that's the way it is. He really didn't give an explanation. And mother said, um, that one of these days, things would change.